Hello everybody. Uh, now we are talking about one important um, feature in Microsoft Excel or one important function that uh, we use um, frequently in, in, in uh, many cases. Um, and we will see one exactly uh, um, actual case that we discussed before. Um, and I got some questions about the uh, the special case where it uh, gets some some errors. So uh, we will we will discuss this uh, in the second part of the video. Um, so the the point here is that sometimes you do some calculations, and when you do the calculations, uh, you you are calculating y from x, for instance. And in in some cases, the value of x will generate errors in y. Um, for instance, if x equals I'd say 10 and then y equals the square root oops uh, the square root of uh, of x so and I, I would um, change the value of x to 9 to 4 to 1 to 500 whatever the value it, it works pretty pretty nicely but in case you have negative 1, then it would create an error because Microsoft Excel cannot calculate the root of minus 1. And in this case, you need to find uh, an alternative to tell Microsoft Excel that if this error is generating a, or this function is generating an error, give me another output. Um, you can use if conditional, of course, but this is going to be painful. So it's an easier to use the built-in functions in Microsoft Excel that do this job. And the function that we use is called if error. Okay, so what if error does it exactly does what I mentioned that you give it a va value or a function, and if this value is valid, is it doesn't give an error, it's gonna display this output. And if this function or the value uh, has an error, it will give you another value which shouldn't have an error. So what I'm gonna do is to write the function here. And then put the value if error. I would say, for instance, just any any big value, just to be easy to notice that this function works. So it it gives you the output now as one million. While this is giving an error. Um, if again, I, if I go back to nine, these two functions would be exactly the same. This is the actual function, and this is the if error function. So what it's doing now is is the, the is that it's displaying this this function. Um, and and it doesn't matter what you have here. Uh, one nice uh, one other thing about this function is that you do not need to uh, put a, a for you can, you can put a formula of course, but you do not need to put a formula or an, or a number. You can put a, a text. So you can say not available for instance. So in case you have an error here it's going to display not available or display a number um, depending on what you want to to put here um, again let's try one more thing you can put here this as x power 2 so it's it's working so if i have negative 10 it's going to display 100 um, so depending on what you want to do you have a uh, lot of freedom to do what you want with the if error function uh, there is one other special case of the kind of if error functions that you have, which um, is uh, so, so you know before that uh, before that we had we uh, I made a video about the types of errors that you see when you work with Excel. We say the numbers, the value, they divided by zero, and they're not available. So there are many many types of of errors. So let's say I uh, I work with this table here so this is the table of, of employees and each one with uh, displays his monthly earnings his age his annual earnings and his gender and let's say i put any name um, for for instance the name of anas um, and i will uh, use the vlookup function um, to look up the uh, value in this table and to see what's his annual earnings which is column number four and make an exact match so it's working it tells me he is earning his earnings are 1912 uh, 19,200 um, uh, Egyptian pounds um, if I put another name it's gonna get it if I put um, Malak, for instance, is going to display her, her annual earnings. So it's working pretty nicely. But in case you have 
um, a name that's not there, uh, let's say Rami for instance. So it's it's not gonna work. So you can use if error to display the alternative in case of error. You can say not available or any text that you like. Um, so it works here. In in case of not available specifically, you can use another function which exa is is exactly like the if error, which is called if na. So it displays the output uh, when the function gives not available error, only for not available error. I don't know why especially they have one for not available. Uh, I don't know if there is uh, any one for number or divided by zero, but this is the, uh, the, the only function, or, or the function is only specifically for NA. For instance, if I have this and I um, try to repeat this function using if NA, it's not gonna work because it's not it's not a not available error it is a number error so anyways i usually use if uh, if if error i i barely use if any but i just uh, mention it in case you uh, you're interested um so the application that i'm gonna talk about is the uh what we discussed before about the mccabe Thiele diagram that we used for the binary system distillation to um, calculate the number of stages and um, what we have here is the um, the inputs that we use to get this plot uh, or graph plotted uh, and we, we use the, uh, the uh, uh, Microsoft Excel to draw the uh, diagram, the 45 line, the equilibrium curve, top, uh, top section, bottom section um, and we, we uh, were able to uh, plot the Q line and the bottom section line and uh, we can change any of the parameters and it's gonna work well. If I make it 0.95, it's gonna shift the X feet to 0.95 and everything will go smoothly. If I change the, the XW to 0.02, it's gonna be shifted or let's make it 0.05 it's gonna be shifted and the graph will be nicely if I change the Q line to the the, Q, the value of Q to 1.5 it works if I will make it 0.75 it works it works any, by changing anything however there is one special case that generates an error um, which is when Q equals 1 uh, and this is because the slope of the Q line equals Q divided by Q minus 1 so if Q equals 1 then you are dividing 1 by 0 which is infinity and that's why you will find this error showing up you cannot, you cannot plot the Q line, you cannot plot the bottom section line uh, so it's, it's clear here that we need to find an alternative just in case of error or having Q equals 1 um, and to do this let's, uh, I'll make it like 1.1 let's uh, think about what we need to see as an output so if you have the Q equals 1, the slope is infinity which means that the line is vertical so all the points on the line will have the same value of x because it's it's a vertical line like this. Um, so what I want to say that so, so the Q line has two two points, which is the x feet and x feet, which is this point. It doesn't change, and the uh, x and y on the other side, which should be somewhere here. Um, and what I know that any value of x in case of error, which is the, the infinite slope, would have the same value of x, which is x feet. So what I wanted to say that if error, uh, this function, then the value if error would be the same value of x feet. Okay. And in case of the Q line, the value of Y wouldn't matter because because Y uh, for any value of Y X is the same. So I do not need to calculate from from a special formula. So I would say that if this uh, function is generating an error, put a value of Y. I, I put it as like one so that it's it's uh, at the the uh, maximum value of the. Uh, um, of the uh, diagram, you can make it 10, 20, 100, but the, the line will be extending outside for no reason. So I'd make it one, and this should do the job. So now the part of the Q line should be solved. So I can now plot the Q line even if I have an error in the in the slope. So if I put it as one, you can see the line. It's it's displaying 0.55 and one, and the line is vertical now. So it I have like 50% of the problem solved. 
but I still have the bottom section not not plotted because I have I still have this calculated from the values of a2 and b2 which are error uh, or, or uh, giving giving an error so I need to find the alternative so in case I have an error then the sec I have the first point as point 0.55 uh, and point 0.05 which is x w and x w so the other point should be at the intersection between the q line and the top section line which is should have the same value of x of the x feet so I'm gonna say um, let's make it at 1.1 so what I'm gonna say that if error um, uh, if this function is generating an error then what I need to see or the value of x would be x feed and the value of y will be calculated from the bottom section line which does not depend on q at all so I, I have now everything solved so when I put this q as 1 um, oops I think I did something wrong um, the x is uh, oh it's not x w I'm sorry it is x feed I'm sorry my bad. Oh, so now it's 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 solved. So if even if now I have a problem with the with the slope, or, or I cannot calculate the slope because it's infant, uh, infinity, then I still can plot the bottom section and the bot and the top section line, um, and the Q line. I'm sorry. And in case I have any value now of the Q line, it's gonna calculate it from the original formula. So I do not need to worry about it. Um, so whatever the value of q I'm using, I can um, have the diagram plotted and I do not have any problem. You can still have kind of one more thing as a cosmotic because um, sometimes I personally do not like to see the divided by zero. So if um, if you wanna if you wanna do this, um, you you can by um, displaying a text that says infinite slope just to say that this this is not a, a value that you can calculate um, again here if this is generating an error then you can say that um, it's gonna have the same value um, that you have before so it's telling you that this is infinite slope infinite slope and infinite slope so you do not have any errors now uh, despite there are some errors but you're giving the command to Microsoft Excel to not display the error and display this text in case of an error and you still can calculate the um, the uh, uh, coordinates of the other points in the queue line and in the bottom section so that you can plot them uh, easily and smoothly so uh, now the the file is is working for all values of Q even with the value that generates an error uh, because of the vertical slope or the infinite slope of the Q line. So hope it helps and I'll see you in the next video inshallah. Goodbye.